Hey guys, Sudwood here with Minecraft, and I'm going to be starting a new series for my channel, and it is going to be the Super Hostile series, and we're starting with level 1, which is um, Sea of Flame. Where are there waypoints already? That's strange. Anyway. So we are going to be trying this, doing this, and I'll be right back for one second. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. I'm going to try to make these episodes 30 minutes long. We're really going to be playing on hard. I mean, not 30, 15 minutes long. I'm going to try to have them recorded. Um, I recorded like recorded multiple ones at a time and then upload them over a week so you guys can actually have some stuff to watch during the week. Okay, rules. Complete the victory menu. Find the wool in the chest. Do not use sheep or dyes. Use at least easy up on hard. Do not leave the boundaries. Survive in any way. You can craft the mailbox or monument. And I'm not worried about like not having food or anything because this is a Vex map, so you can do anything you need to. So I can just like jump into the lava and get three for my hunger level. This is an open world style map. As you explore, you find areas and dungeons. Good luck and try not to fall in lava. Your first goal should be renewable wood and also find your victory monument. It may be convenient to set up your base at the victory monument. Welcome to Super Hostile 1 Sea of Flame by Vex. And I can see tree over there so we'll get rid as it is always the first thing in this class so or any minecraft Oops, sounds too loud don't know why it's so loud I usually keep it at 16 so that when I um, increase the volume during video editing um, it doesn't get too loud because my mic is a quiet one so I need to just increase the volume when I end the video. So there's time. The pressure plates are to cause neat looking fires. Yes, that's what I thought. Instead of being landmines, they're actually they're there to cause fires. There we go. Fire stack of sand and let's go. I played like the first few minutes of this map, but not really a whole ton of it. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. Can I already tell you that? Come on! <laughs> I won't do it. I don't think breaking this will cause an avalanche, but we'll see. Oh. <laughs> yes, as long as we don't activate more. Uh, we activate those ones more. Hey. Uh, stupid sprinting. Wood, yes. Actually, I should probably go from. Oh no, that's not good. I was gonna say, I should probably go from the side. From the leaves, I mean. Oh. Ow. I'll go up from here. It will carve it down from the top. Ooh, sapling. So we have at least one sapling already, that's good. We got a chest, which is good too. Okay, so two saplings, three. I'm just gonna cut that 
this top part. Sand down a little more. Yeah, I'll just carve out this to get more saplings. Best way to take down a tree to maximize saplings, I, I think. Oh, <laughs> stupid skeletons. So, if you just fooled around until night, it would have been like incredibly difficult to get to what the skeletons would have spawned on top and snipe you with that. Probably turn turn off my minimap mod and the speed increase and the digging mod of zombies mod pack. I'll do that once I'm actually doing something that require that would, that that would interfere with. But right now, not really. I'm just punching a tree. Mods don't really change punching a tree all that much. So I have like. 16 saplings now at 16, it's really nice. Yeah, I almost killed myself. Okay, so we have 16 saplings. Look at that over there, that looks cool. Spires. That giant pig face. And that zooming is just part of um, Octopine. You just press left the yeah left control. Yeah, it'll zoom in for you. Pretty cool. Actually works kind of well for sniping. Okay, this is the last layer. Nope, this one is. So now I need a bucket for the sand. Oh, how epic was that? I escaped the tree that was falling apart. To so land back on my pillar and save myself. I think that's pretty epic. Uh, wood? Yes, I got it. I got almost 20 saplings. That's good. That's very good. Sun it what? Oh yeah, so. Yeah, it's nine ten now. Because the sun teleported from over there because it started to set. So yeah. I think I am just going to um, this, go like this, and go like this. And I'll be back once it's daytime. Okay, should be daytime now. I just like sat there until it was daytime. Got six minutes of this episode left, so I'd like to get some more done than just punching a tree. Reclick my sand because that's always really useful. Especially for going down. Alright, okay. yes. Sprinting is nice. Okay, so. Hey, uh, ooh, there are other new signs. To give SMT players a break from spying in the lava, the respawn point is on the middle of uh, Plastic Island, but everyone uses beds now, so it's really a moot point. Okay. So, yeah, my original three maps, they were pure survival maps with no goal or anything, just like all other survival maps, you just kind of derped around. <laughs> It wasn't until my fourth map, Casio Caverns, I added Victory Monument. I went back and added Wool and Victory Monuments for the first three, but it was not the best thing. The 
really they were not quite designed for that kind of gameplay, so I reworked them into proper maps. Okay, let's remake. Play the old version, you can find it in forms. Okay, that works, that works. And we are. Our food meter is going down. So here we go. Swim! <coughs> let's take a bath in the lava. There we go. Okay, so next order of business is to get some wood, some planks, crafting table, and make some sticks, and oops, I actually don't need that. Save those for later, save that for later. Save that. There we go. We got a wooden pickaxe. Stupid zombie mods. Go away. I'm not even using it. There we go. Go pick up some stone. So we got wood and stone. And that's all we've got. And sand and gravel. But gravel is useless, so no one ever counts, gra counts gravel. I guess we could have some glowstone, but I don't really need it. Yeah, so I'm hopefully gonna record like the first three or four episodes of this today. I'll be releasing um uh, probably one every two days. I'll try to record more during the week. But I don't really have it's been hectic since moving, so I don't really have much chances to record and that's why kept my episode seven of my Let's Play did not go up until Weekends. So that happened. More stone. Can use up this pick getting some more stone. Go. Once that's done, I will build a temporary shelter, and I think that will be it for this episode. There, there we go. Okay, so we got like three ish stacks. That's good, that's good. I think I'll just transform like this into the house. To the shelter, really, it's more of a shelter. Damn it, I'll have to fix that later. Just about done for this episode, so might go like one minute over, but that's no big problem. Just wanted it to be roughly 15 minutes. That block I actually needed. Glowstone will give me lighting, which is good. Oh, darn it, it's stupid. It's stupid. Okay. I'm just like trying to turn off, make sure to remember to turn off my timer before it goes off because it's really loud. Okay, so I'll turn off you. Okay, so there we go, that's all set. Just a few, probably just a little bit over. Okay, pick 
this. And we got ourselves got ourselves a house. In its own lighting. Let's get it. That's good, that's good. Okay, so we need to that should be enough for a door. And there we go. Wrong side. There we go. Okay, this, that's gonna be all for episode one of Sea of Super Hostile series, Sea of Flame, episode one. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you in episode two. See ya.